Installation for Split Air Conditioner This installation is mainly divided into the following parts. 1. Appropriate position for installation. 2. Preparation of installation tools. 3. Preparation before installation. 4. Installation of indoor unit. 5. Installation of outdoor unit. 6. Vacuum. 7. Leak detection. 8. Trial operation. Appropriate position for installation. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of split air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. There is heat source or steam source near the installation position. There are obstacles which block the air circulation near the installation position. There is fume or droplet near the installation position. Being too close to combustible objects such as curtain, clothing and other movable items. Position which is within 40 inches, far away from television, stereo or other household appliances. Ventilation is poor and there are obstacles around which may affect airflow. Positioned where flammable, explosive or corrosive gas may leaks. It is recommended that customized anti-corrosion air conditioner for the areas like seaside where corrosion is strong. It is recommended to build shelters above the outdoor unit in the area with heavy snow or heavy rain. It is recommended to build a barrier in front of the outdoor unit towards the wind direction in strong windy area. Choose the position with well ventilation, but also sheltered from the rain and direct sun exposure if possible. When the outdoor unit is installed along the street, additional wind backflow device should be taken into consideration to prevent wind from blowing pedestrians directly. Preparation of installation tools. During the installation, the following tools may be used. Pressure gauge, vacuum pump, electric drill, leak detector, clamp meter, multimeter. Preparation before installation. Pipe cutting. Cut the suitable length of copper pipe is required. Turn pipe cutter slowly and keep increasing force gradually. Make sure there is no deformation. Cut surface should be level. Remove burr side of copper pipe with scraper. Use rubberized fabric to wrap copper pipe head to prevent foreign materials from entering. Sheathe the insulating pipe. Sleeve the nut. Pipe expanding. Make pipe socket for copper pipe with pipe expander. Firmly hold copper pipe in a die in the dimension shown in the table. Fix flaring tools. Turn the handle clockwise and stop it when it rattles. Pipe socket should be level and uniform, free of crack. Wire stripping. Select applicable wire according to rated current value. Two common specifications are shown in the figure. Strip rubber skin at both ends of connecting wire separately to uncover the connecting wire. Use wire stripper to strip wire core. Use wire crimper to clamp U-type plug and pay attention to distinguish L-wire from other wires. Installation of indoor unit. Confirm whether the indoor unit matches to the outdoor unit according to the model of purchased product. Unpack the packaging box, take out the indoor unit, and examine whether there is any scratch, deformation, and other defects on the panel. Take out the cardboard for installation. Take out the accessories. Check whether the accessories are complete. Space requirement for the installation of the indoor unit. The right and left sides of the indoor unit should be more than 5 inches away from the wall. 
The upper side should be more than 6 inches from the ceiling and the lower side should be more than 90 inches from the ground. Confirm the installation position of the indoor unit according to installation manual. Confirm the position of the wall hole and the screw above the wall hole according to the direction of exit pipe. Fix the mounting plate. Wall boards should be inclined appropriately according to the position of drain pipe. Align screw hole corresponding to mounting plate with the plotted position of screw and plot positions of several other screws. Fix and install the siding after installation position is confirmed. If it is a cement wall, insert the plastic sleeve firstly and then fix the installation plate with tapping screws. Determine the wall hole position according to the exit pipe direction and the expected installation position of outdoor unit. Avoid wires and other foreign materials. Attention should be paid that the inside of hole should be about 0.5 inches higher than the outside. Put on wall socket. Connection of connecting pipe. The input-output pipe should be adjusted to appropriate position at slow speed with even strength. Insulating sleeve is cut 4 to 6 inches to facilitate the connection with copper pipe and check for damage in bend. Remove nut cap of copper pipe. The cone should be vertical to top pipe socket. When the nut is near the bottom of bolt, tighten it with a wrench. Loosen it moderately after tightening for further tightening. Firstly, connect low pressure pipe, then connect high pressure pipe. Connection of drain pipe. This series of product is featured by two-way drainage function and the position of drain pipe interface can be selected according to installation position. Note that during the adjustment of drain pipe, unused interfaces should be sealed by rubber plug. Seal drain pipe interface with adhesive to avoid loosening and leakage. Cooling is not allowed for water pipe. Heat insulation material should be applied for wrapping indoor side of drain pipe to avoid condensation and leakage. Connection of indoor power wire and signal wire. Open indoor unit panel. Loosen the screw used for fixing cover of electric control box and remove the cover. Put the signal wire and power wire through wire outlet from the back. Connect the wires referring to wire diagram. Special attention should be paid if live wire and null wire are incorrectly connected. The air conditioners may not work regularly as a result of malfunction. Maintain appropriate curvature to avoid the loosening of wire terminal under stress. Compress the connecting wire with press wire card and get the press wire card fixed. Pull the wire back moderately to make sure the connection is secure. Mount the cover of electric control box. Pipe laying and wrapping. Wrapping is conducted in order where power wire and signal wire are at upper side. Connecting pipe is in the middle and water pipe is at lower side. Reserve the copper screw position during wrapping for leak detection. Copper pipe should be sealed to prevent dust or foreign materials from entering when going through the wall. Hang the indoor unit. Copper pipe and connecting wire after wrapping are threaded slowly through the wall hole to prevent from colliding with the wall or bending. Hang the indoor unit on the hook of mounting plate. Insert the lower part of indoor unit into the groove of mounting plate. The installation of indoor unit with embedded piping. Firstly, mark out positioning points on cardboard for installation according to the length of input-output pipe. Make position on the wall with cardboard according to the position of embedded pipeline and the cardboard positioning point. 
Determine the installation position of indoor unit. Fix the mounting plate. According to reserve position of wall hole, confirm the direction of exit pipe and cut out cover of exit pipe. Remove drain pipe. Installation auxiliary bracket is threaded through hole of mounting plate to support indoor unit. Insulating sleeve of input-output pipe of indoor unit is split 4 to 6 inches to facilitate the connection. Connect copper pipe. Note that copper pipe should be free of bending and deformation. Adjust drain pipe of indoor unit according to the reserve length of drain pipe. Note that the interface should be sealed with adhesive tape. Connection of power wire and signal wire. Wrapping is conducted in order where power wire and signal wire are at upper side. Connecting pipe is in the middle and water pipe is at lower side. Reserve the copper screw position during wrapping for leak detection. Installation of the outdoor unit. Space requirement for the installation of the outdoor unit. Make sure that it is no less than 12 inches for left space of the outdoor unit. No less than 24 inches for right space. No less than 24 inches for upper space. No less than 12 inches for back space. No less than 78 inches for front space. When the outdoor unit is installed on the ground, Use tape line to measure the distance between footing of the outdoor unit. Select the installation position of the outdoor unit. Note that a L-shaped sink should be set in drain hole of the outdoor unit for drainage. According to footing distance, drill into the expansion bolts. Locate the outdoor unit into the expansion bolts. Fit check washer and flat gasket. The outdoor unit is installed on the wall. Confirm the position of bracket holes with level meter. Note that bracket should be in a vertical plane. Fix mounting bracket of the outdoor unit. The bracket should be level and can withstand the weight more than four times the weight of people and outdoor unit. The outdoor unit should be placed levelly on the mounting bracket. Align elliptical hole of foundation bolt with fastener hole of bracket. The outdoor unit is fixed on the bracket by four bolts. Bolt is threaded from up to down and is tightened by adding check washer. If allowed, rubber gasket can be added to reduce the vibration of the outdoor unit during operation. Connection of outdoor drain pipe. Heat pump air conditioner is required to connect to drain pipe for outdoor unit. Gasket ring is sheathed on adapter of water outlet and turned 90 degrees after being installed in chassis through bottom of the outdoor unit. Drain pipe is sheathed and inserted into outdoor drain pipeline. Connection of outdoor connecting pipe. Open the cover of water outlet. Unscrew the pipe cap. Align pipe socket of connecting pipe with the bell of globe valve pipe adapter. Screw pipe socket nut to the bottom of globe valve bolt with hand. Then tighten it with wrench. Tighten back after tightening for further tightening. Bending requirement for connecting pipe. Bending radius of connecting pipe should be more than 4 inches and connecting pipe shall not be squashed during bending. When exit hole of connecting pipe is located lower than indoor unit, a section of waterproof bend downwards is required for exit hole of connecting pipe to prevent rainwater from pouring into the interior. Connection of outdoor power wire and signal wire. Open the large handle of the outdoor unit. Connection is conducted corresponding to identifier with reference to wiring diagram. Attention should be paid that mode of connection should correspond with indoor side. Incorrect wiring may result in damage to the electrical control board. 
Unscrew retaining screw of press wire card. Remove the press wire card. When threading the wire, pay attention to maintain suitable curvature and the wire shall not be pulled too straight. Mount the press wire card and tighten screws. Pull the wire back moderately to make sure the connection is secure. Mount the large handle. Vacuum. Connection of vacuum pump. One end of the filler wire of pressure gauge should be connected to the vent of vacuum pump. The other end is connected to filler mouth of low pressure valve. Open low pressure valve of pressure gauge. Keep high pressure valve closed normally. 15 minutes later, when pressure gauge reading is negative 0.1 MPA, close the low pressure valve of pressure gauge fully. Turn off the vacuum pump. After 5 minutes, check the indicating of pressure gauge. It should be has no change. Unscrew valve cap of high pressure valve and low pressure valve and loosen valve core of high pressure valve through turning it for one fourth lap counterclockwise with hexagonal socket for five seconds. Generally turn off valve core if pressure gauge reading is about 0.5 MPA. Wait one minute. Check the indicating of pressure gauge. There should be no change. Open fully valve cores of high pressure valve and low pressure valve. Tighten valve cap. Leak detection. Leak detection is conducted under standby mode condition in summer and under heating condition in winter. Leak detector detection. Probe moves around weld junction at slow and uniform speed of 1 to 2 centimeters per second and the probe is kept at the length of 0.1 to 0.2 inches away from the weld junction. It turns one lap around valve ports of high pressure valve and low pressure valve respectively. If leak alarm occurs, remove probe for retesting and confirmation. Soapy water detection. Apply soapy water. Washing powder is inapplicable of high concentration to all interfaces of nuts with brush. Then observe it for two to three minutes. Repeat this as needed. If bubbles emerge, leakage exists in the system. Nuts should be tightened further. This method of leak detection is equally applicable for indoor unit. After it is confirmed that there is no leakage, insulation sleeve is used to wrap joints. Trial operation. Open the panel, remove the filter, and pour certain amount of water slowly through the upper part of evaporator to check whether drainage is smooth. After it is ensured that water flows through drain pipe smoothly, drain pipe should be inserted into outside drain pipeline. Current detection. Use clamp meter to clamp live wire to detect whether running current of air conditioner is within the normal range of current values. Voltage detection. Multimeter is adjusted to AC stop. With red pin connecting to L, black pin connecting to N, measure whether running voltage meets range of use of product when air conditioner operates. Use damping adhesive to seal the wall hole to prevent foreign materials from entering the interior.